Well, for over a year, an important part of our WGN family has been away from our studio, recovering from a life-threatening scare. We've all been inspired watching Erin Ivory persevere during her recovery from heart failure, and we have missed her. So have you at home. We've heard from you. Yeah. Erin, we're so happy to have Aww. you back today. Don't make me cry. You know I cry really nicely yeah. these yeah. days. Don't, don't do it to me on my first day back. Yeah. I'm already nervous enough. Um, but thank you guys, thank you very much. Yeah. And I'll tell you, having this opportunity to be back here with you fills my heart with gratitude. So it only makes sense that this first story will be about just that. I'm a patient again today. Behind these windows. Well, she's here and I'm gonna go see her. Everyone has a job. For Northwestern housekeeper, Lashana Banks. Fix the bed and stuff. It's changing bedding. And then go to the closet. Before rolling her cart to the next room. So that's what I do. What she doesn't see is the indelible mark she leaves behind. Every day this lady came in to clean the room and she would just sit and talk to me and cheer me on every single day. It was family that I needed there. To understand this story, I have to take you back several weeks to a Facebook post I made expressing my gratitude for the man who lifted me out of my own dark place when I was at Northwestern Hospital. He might have been there to collect the garbage, but it was his huge smile and kind words that I remember exactly the medicine I needed. There is always the one person who inspires us. A wave of gratitude followed, hundreds sharing their own stories. <laughs> Among them, three women who wanted to join me in delivering their own letter of thanks. So having this uh, time and opportunity to definitely express how much it means to us means the world. Honestly, wouldn't be where I am today without Dr. Malaysia and his team. He's a lifesaver. Our third, Kristen Michaels, was home, still recovering from surgery. And she is the sweetest, sweetest. Not being able to see her family while in the hospital left her in tears daily. I just sat there and cried. Lashana was the one who wiped them away. I just want to thank her for just her kindness, her love. I promised I would deliver that message on her behalf. From the doctors to the nurses to the folks that bring in the tray to eat. Just to say thank you. A mother grateful for those who held her hand while waiting for her daughter in ICU. A daughter fighting Marfan syndrome and heart failure, finally strong enough to thank the surgeon who saved her life. In our hearts, we all carry our own hand scribbled notes of gratitude. Thank you for giving and being everything to us and holding my hand during some difficult moments. But often forget the beauty that lies in delivering them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And actually being able to really read the letter and realize how that impact happens and what that impact actually is. Without you and your impressive knowledge, skills, and teams, I would not be living today. Are you Miss Lashana? Yes, I am. You are? I am here to deliver a hug from a stranger who says you are her oh, angel. Oh, wow. I'm she so overwhelmed. She can't be here to give you this hug. Oh, really? She wrote you this letter. Last year was the hardest time in my life. You're the only person that felt like family when I was there. Took the time to encourage me and cheer me on. The day I got to leave, you cheered me and celebrate with me for that. I am so very thankful for you. Oh, Christian, I thank you. And this is, this is so hard. I mean, my heart is just, it's full of joy. I mean, it's like she said, you know, her heart is filled with it. When I say my heart is like, <laughs> Overwhelming, very overwhelming. She wanted to give you two, so here's another. <laughs> Holding gratitude in your heart is good, but sharing it has the power to transform not just a regular day on the job, but their heart as well. That's my guy right there. Oh, he was humble. It. He did not want to be in the story, so we just put his picture yeah. out there. But he was my man and my angel uh, the day I had. Uh, yeah. Well, really, that's all the time I was in the hospital. I finally got yeah. the chance to go back and thank him, and it just 
warm my heart and I've learned that gratitude just gets better when you share yeah. it. There you go. So that's kind of the moral of the story and I'm going to see you all next week yeah. with more heartfelt stories and coming your way. And we are so happy you're back, Erin, mm. because oh. you get to inspire people with stories oh. like that. So and you see the effect of it, right? The yeah. People I... see these stories and share their own experiences. I'm telling you, I got the best job in the shop. I've been mm. telling you that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are glad you're back. Yeah. All right, you. next Thursday, she'll be here, guys, so tune in. Mm -hmm. All right, still to come here.